written by a Nobel Prize winning scientist. This book remains controversial even today. This book asks, was the human race, indeed all life on Earth, seeded by aliens? I'm David Thrussell and this is the Forbidden Book Club. sky. Our home, the Milky Way galaxy, apparently houses billions of stars, and in turn those stars potentially shelter further billions of planets. Formulated in 1950 by Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, the so-called Fermi's paradox asks, in a universe that should be teeming with life, alien artifacts and visitations. Where is everybody? Fermi's paradox asks fundamental questions about the origins and nature of human and indeed all life. In 1981, Nobel Prize winning molecular biologist Francis Crick published his profoundly controversial book, Life Itself. Recognised as the co-discoverer of the structure of DNA, Crick argued that DNA, the blueprint in every single cell of every single organism, is simply too complex to have evolved or developed by chance. Indeed, Crick asserted that DNA, the very building block of life, must be intentionally designed and therefore extraterrestrial. He called his theory directed panspermia. An honest man armed with all the knowledge available to us now could only state that the origin of life appears to be a miracle. Indeed, it is one of the greatest mysteries which confront us as we try to discover just how the universe is constructed and in particular to locate our own place in it. The problem of the origin of life is, at bottom, a problem in organic chemistry. Living things, as we shall see, are built with incredible delicacy and precision. Indeed, DNA is an awesome technology the numbers alone are staggering. Every human cell contains a double strand of DNA, 10 atoms wide, two meters long, and written with three billion letters of code. Some have even wondered whether DNA itself has intelligence or even consciousness. Directed panspermia postulates that the roots of our form of life go back to another planet in the universe and that life was seeded by microorganisms sent via spaceship by an advanced civilization. Francis Crick described the odds of life spontaneously developing on Earth as vanishingly small. Even the simplest living cell is an incredibly complex piece of machinery, far more complex than anything man has yet devised. Famed astrophysicist Sir Fred Hoyle was also a proponent of panspermia. He famously remarked, The chance that higher life forms might have randomly emerged is comparable with the chance that a tornado sweeping through a junkyard might assemble a Boeing 747. In spite of our uncertainty about how life began, we have no doubt that it exists now and on an abundant scale. We can see it all around us. 
an avowed and very public atheist his entire adult life. What Crick proposed, though clothed in the garb of biochemistry and mathematics, was, by definition, intelligent design. On some distant planet, some four billion years ago, there may have been a form of higher creature who, like ourselves, had discovered science and technology, developing them far beyond anything we have accomplished. Francis Crick theorised that unmanned spacecraft with precisely designed cargoes of bacteria, viruses and even algae may have been sent across the vast, dark reaches of space to deliberately seed life on a suitable planet, Earth. Crick was a controversial figure, even in death. Just weeks after he passed away in 2004, the tabloid press was aflame with rumours that at the very time Francis Crick discovered DNA, he was also experimenting with LSD. Revelations about the double helix or entwined serpents of DNA are now part of psychedelic folklore. It is impossible to definitively confirm the rumours of Crick's early LSD experimentation. However, it is now accepted that later in his career, Francis Crick took and privately advocated LSD. In 2015, scientists from the University of Buckingham discovered a microscopic metallic sphere embedded in a high-altitude balloon. The sphere held what they described as inexplicable biological material. Living liquid goo, they speculated, may have been sent to Earth from outer space. Is life ultimately the meaningless product of chance events and random accidents? Or is it a mysterious gift from the cosmos? Limitless, unexplainable, precious. And are we literal star children? In 1950, Enrico Fermi stared up at the night sky and asked, where is everybody? But perhaps Fermi never considered the possibility that we are the aliens. suppressed, forgotten. These are the words of heretics, eccentrics, and visionaries. Expand your mind, broaden your horizons. Join us next time in the Forbidden Book Club. <laughs>